top. Come on, bro, you got it. Push it. Deja vu, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, fun fact, guys, we actually bought this insulation two years ago and it's been stored in our barn ever since. Thankfully, we have our black cat, Binks, and our newest kitty who guard the barn for us. They are excellent mousers. Yes, they are. <laughs> but we bought all of this. When we moved out here, Josh drew up an entire material list of what we were gonna need to get our house from nothing to completely under roof and insulated. And then we placed a huge gigantic order and we mm -hmm. bought it all at once. And yeah. so this insulation, just a whole huge truck came and they dumped off everything. And keep in mind, we were supposed to use this insulation probably about a year and a half ago. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, we thought, we thought- Our expectations are way too high. Way too high for how so. quickly we were gonna build this house. Yes. <laughs> As you guys probably remember, we started underneath the house by running the PEX pipe for radiant heat. Then we installed some foam board. Josh spray foamed in all of the like air gaps and mm -hmm. joints and whatnot. And now we have R30 bat insulation that is going to go in before we finally close it up with pressure treated plywood. Yes, and we're doing a treated plywood for bugs and rodents, something like that. So bugs don't eat through pressure treated plywood versus regular plywood with like termites and everything. So we're going with treated versus non-treated. Um, we also have these. It's not male underwear. It's what we had to buy at the store. Okay. It looks like whitey tighties. It, it does. It's probably the same fabric, but whatever. <laughs> so. we, we can't access any regular masks. We've looked everywhere for them for a while now and like you just I can't, can't find get them, anything. So. so we had to use these and uh, I know when I used these when I was, when I was uh, sanding the wall inside, um, I had it like this, obviously, and I took it off and it's all st pretty much dust from drywall. It comes down like that and my nose is still covered in yeah. drywall. So, I yeah. mean, they're really not even that helpful. <laughs> no. no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got this anyways. Yeah. It yeah. It's better than nothing, I hope. Yeah. We got to get rid of Josh's tidy whities out of his drawer anyways, so. You know, better now. Maybe, maybe now you can start wearing boxers. <laughs> Strap up, Josh. Josh, your is back. <laughs> <laughs> The insulation that we have is uh, actually face insulation. We uh, purchased this a while ago, obviously. Um, technically, we probably we didn't need any face insulation because we actually have a vapor barrier with the foam board and the spray foam on the sides, but we're gonna go ahead and use what we have. Mm -hmm. So the face insulation should always go towards the conditioned space, not the exposed space to, I guess, to cold air, whatever you have. Yeah. So the paper side goes up and the uh, insulation side comes down. We're gonna go ahead and cover it up with uh, plywood. Remember in our in our house, we actually did the paper on the inside where it's facing us because the condition space, and we covered up with the uh, drywall. So same thing here, but we got the floor already finished, so we're putting it in that way. Yep, and we're moving pretty fast. I feel like. Yeah, well, we're moving. This is fast. It's easy. Throw it up and go.
My quads and back are just like exhausted after a day like this. And now a word from our sponsors. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Audible, who as you all probably know by now, our family uses on a daily basis. Audiobooks give our family a great way to connect and learn away from the screen. And Audible Sleep gives Josh the perfect beauty rest in the evening so that he can stay fresh and on point for the build. Thanks, babe. This means Josh can drift off to sleep while listening to Nick Jonas and knowing that Audible and Thrive Global are donating to Newark Working Kitchens, who are providing meals to frontline healthcare workers and residents in need so that they don't go to bed hungry. And guys, these are free listens, so you don't even need to be a member, but it's for a limited time only. For those of you looking for more, Audible also offers podcasts, guided wellness programs, theatrical performances, A-list comedies, and exclusive Audible originals. So start listening today with a free Audible trial where you can get one audiobook and access to unlimited monthly Audible originals for free. Visit audible.com slash wildwonderfuloffgrid or text wildwonderfuloffgrid to 500-500. So thank you Audible for sponsoring today's video and helping to support the time and effort creators like us put into creating free content for our viewers to enjoy. Now let's get back to the build. So we just got all the bat insulation in. It's about halfway down. We want to get that portion done and then jump to the bulkhead that we have so we can get that thing closed up also. The reason behind us doing it like that is because we don't, it's a tight squeeze back there. So we want to get this entire front portion done. A lot of winds coming in, a nice rainstorm's coming in. So we want to get everything closed up so it's all safe and sound. Um, so we can go back there later and figure it all out. That's not true. He's just trying to delay crawling around on his hands and knees. Pretty much. <laughs> My back hurts, you know? <laughs> he just put the turkey to sleep. <laughs> there you go, girl. You got it. Three rows, go lengthwise. Yeah. We're not gonna stagger anything. I know. It's all, it's nothing for structure, it's gonna... Easy. Yep, makes okay. sense? Yeah. Cool.
the meeting. That's harassment. Harassment. Har harassment. Sexual harassment. <laughs> Not when it's wanted. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yes. <laughs> I feel I'm burned. This, this is kicking our ass for the way. Yeah. <laughs> Bad. What's worse, this or the uh the sheathing? Yeah. I don't know. This is shorter. It's not gonna take us as long to do this as it was the sheathing. I know. So we are done. Not done with the task done. I quit. But done physically and no, mentally done. done. Like the only thing that's gonna mm. keep me from falling over right now is eating an entire pizza myself. I'm I'm mentally fine. I'm mentally fit. Um, <laughs> I am exhausted. It was brutal. I mean, yeah, it's heavy. I greatly underestimated the physical strength that it was going to take to do that. The problem is you you down low, bent down, hunched over, pushing up. I mean, it's 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 half inch uh, pressure treated uh, ply, so it still has uh, moisture in there, so it's heavy as can be. So heavy. Yeah. Yeah. My back hurts. The, the, My legs hurts. I had Aaron's really cheeks hurt. <laughs> I had really high hopes because, like, we were flying on the first part of the project, and it was so simple. Yeah. We're moving. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then it was like we got like I that even told, side. I, I even told this would be the easy part. I think you did tell me I that, did didn't you? That, yes. We got that side of the house done, but by the time we got that that last board up there, like, I couldn't do it anymore. Exhausted. So I'm gonna take out dinner. She's not cooking tonight, so <laughs> I'm taking to a fancy, fancy, fancy restaurant. We're going to Big G's and we're getting some pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ready to go? Yes. Let's go. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> I bring you back a slice, but you gotta fit in that bandana, and you're on diet. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. See ya.